Oh, it's awesome jelly, man. The little dudes are just eggs. We leave them on a beach to hatch, and then kick kick ka choo they find their way back to the big old blue. All by themselves? Chaw. Sure. But, 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 dude, how do you know when they're ready? Well, you never really know, but when they know, you'll know, you know? Oh. The process explained in this video is the nesting and hatching process done by all turtle species. The female turtle lays her eggs on land in a hole she digs. She buries them and then leaves them there until they hatch. They hatch at night to avoid predators and find their way back to the water by following the moonlight. The nesting and hatching process that we focused on was that of the Mary River turtle. It is in Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Reptilia, Order Testudines, Family Chelidae, and species Eleuther macrus. The Mary River turtle is only native to the Mary River in southeastern Queensland, Australia. They have large hind feet that allow them to swim fast and long claws for digging and crawling. They have shells made of keratin and bone that produce a strong structure for protection. Unlike most Australian freshwater turtles, the males are larger than the females. They reproduce by internal fertilization and produce 15 to 22 amniotic eggs that the female buries in wet soil. Unlike other animals, incubation temperatures do not affect if the hatchlings are male or female. The Mary River turtle displays direct development and hatchlings have an elliptical and flexible shell. Research done by Mariana Mikolai Campbell et al. looked at the effects of incubation temperature on the growth rate and various tasks that hatchlings perform. The researchers observed 16 Mary River turtle nests in the wild to obtain a range of nest temperatures. The range they obtained was 26 to 31 degrees Celsius. They then collected 56 eggs and randomly distributed them into three containers that were filled with sand and soil that typical nests are made of. Each container had a different incubation temperature, 26, 29, or 32 degrees Celsius which was based on their wild nest observations. After the eggs hatched, shell dimensions and their growth rates were measured. The hatchlings were tested on the amount of time it took them to right themselves, flip from their back to their stomach, and their swimming performance, measuring their mean stroke force. The data in this table summarizes how temperature impacted the incubation period, hatching success, and size of the hatchlings in each group. Eggs incubated at higher temperatures ended up hatching earlier. Turtles in the 32 degrees Celsius group hatched in 42 days compared to 70 days in the 26 degrees Celsius group. Embryos incubated at 32 degrees Celsius also had the lowest hatching success and those that did hatch were smaller with a straight carapace length of 32.7 millimeters compared to 34.9 millimeters in the other two groups. The hatchlings also remained smaller due to having a reduced growth rate. This graph shows the time it took turtles to right themselves with incubation temperature of the three groups on the x-axis and the time on the y-axis. Hatchlings in the 26 degrees Celsius group righted themselves 10 times faster than hatchlings incubated at 29 degrees Celsius and 34 times faster than the 32 degrees Celsius group. From the swimming trials, the researchers found turtles incubated at 32 degrees Celsius maintained a lower mean stroke force of about 25.4 millinewtons compared to 29 millinewtons in the 26 degrees Celsius group. The graph with incubation temperature on the x-axis and time swimming on the y-axis shows that turtles incubated at 32 degrees Celsius spent less time swimming compared to the hatchlings in the other two groups. In summary, the study shows that slight rises in incubation temperature will alter the morphological characteristics and performance of Mary River turtle hatchlings. Eggs incubated at temperatures 1 degree warmer than the highest mean wild nest temperature results in lower hatching success, smaller turtles, and poor riding and swimming performance. Increases in atmospheric temperature due to climate change may increase incubation temperatures, impacting the survivorship of the endangered Mary River turtle. Hatchlings must be able to right themselves quickly on land and swim effectively in water to evade predators. Also, turtles with high growth rates become larger faster, decreasing their risk of predation and increasing their ability to consume a greater range of prey. Because high incubation temperatures affect characteristics necessary for survival, the mortality rate of Mary River turtles may increase as atmospheric temperature increases. Incubation temperature may also affect the growth and development of other turtle species and oviparous animals, leading to more endangered or even extinct animals. 
This map shows the locations where different species of sea turtles lay their eggs in the Indo-Pacific region. Their eggs are similarly sensitive to hydric and thermal conditions and can tolerate only minor fluctuations, narrowing the geographic range for the nests where successful embryonic development can occur. In order to protect these animals, further research linking global climate change to high incubation temperatures that result in animals being poorly adapted to their environment must be conducted.